Hi guys and welcome back. We often have a lot of macros in our computers which we use according to requirements in different Excel sheets in different scenarios. So now the point is how to organize them and how to arrange them in a way that you can easily use them and refer to them whenever required. So for that I will refer kind of one of the techniques that is uh, quite handy and especially in today's Excel when we are using quite advanced macros, it's quite easy and handy to use it. So I will, I will give you a test case here. So for example, we have an Excel and we got one macro from uh, one of our colleagues and uh, we have to save it because this macro helps to use a calendar in Excel sheet. So it's quite convenient. For example, I can show you here, I'm already using it. So this is something like I press the button and I get this calendar and I get the date in. So I have the date in rather than typing it, I have a standard format. So I'm using this uh, template to get the dates in. So it's a simple one button that I'm using that macro, referring to that macro from my Excel sheet. So I don't have to go back to different uh, shortcuts or even to different Excels to access it. So um, I will simply close this Excel now. Now I have this macro, for example, in an email or an USB drive. So I've copied it somewhere safe in my uh, libraries and some folders where I know that I'm not going to delete it. What I will uh, request you is to make a folder like my macros or something like that. And you can always refer to that uh, folder in your Excel sheets. So I've saved this particular macro here. Now, when it is saved in my hard drive, the first thing I have to do is I have to double click on it and open it. So you can see it's asking me to enable the macros. Yes, of course, you should enable it, Mr. Excel. So here we are. So macro is enabled here. Now, what I have to do is I have this uh, bar here, which is not clickable because it's still processing some things. Okay, so now you have to do is you have to edit this bar that is quick access toolbar quad. So simply go and click here. Now it's asking you for more commands. Click on the more commands and there you go. Now we have all the things here. For example, in the customize, the quick access toolbar, you can see everything. You don't have to operate everything. Just simply press this button and go to all commands and there you see this macros. Click on the macros and you have all these macros here. Okay, these are multiple macros that I can see, but this is the macro that was referred in that Excel, if you remember. So what can happen is that when you open this particular uh, interface, you will have only maybe this macro. So this is a macro that I've opened in this Excel, which is safe on my hard drive. So I'll simply add it here. So if I add it here, you can see it's here already. So I will simply modify it. I will give it a smiley, for example, and I will put a display name here as date. So I will need date. I will click it. So a smiley and a date. OK. Now this smiley and the date is here. Now this macro can be referred easily with single click. So I will close it now. The reference is there. I don't need any anything else. I will simply now open any Excel. So it can be any Excel when you're working. So I'll simply open this file, for example. It's a blank book one. And there you can see that macro, which is safe somewhere in my drive. I don't have to refer any shortcut, anything. But simply now I will um, make a little bit bigger this one. I click on it. So the moment I click on it, you see it's opened that particular macro. I click on the date. The date is here. So macro can be easily referred to here. So this is a simple and very handy way. Other than the shortcuts, you can have every handy macro here. I have like, for example, you can see six or seven macros here, which I can use anytime when I need. And these are my frequently used macros. So now, for example, if I believe that this macro is not required anymore to be referred in my Excel, so I'll simply go again, click on the more commands. And when I click on the more commands, I'll have to go back down. There you see, this is the date. So I can simply remove it. So it's removed. I press OK and it's gone. So that's how you can easily refer to macros in your uh, files. And it's very easy and handy to keep them organized. So uh, this was one of the tips, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned from it. Looking forward to talk to you again then. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.